pretty emotional, the two of us, when it got announced, and then obviously telling the news to all our families, our mums and dads, etc. It was a really emotional one, you know, my mum and dad especially, it'll be their first grandchild in the family, so something that we're really looking forward to, sort of the next step of, of our lives together, and obviously the wee one here's set us up nicely for that, and you know, it's something we're really looking forward to. He's quite excited. Hey, what's that? Yeah. Yeah. Say hello. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> We're at Run Free Dog Fields at uh, the back in Shinnan with Simba here. Just bring him here every now and then when the weather's good for a wee half hour where he can just run about like mad and let loose of some of that energy that he's got. He's two and a half now, but um, ah, he's brilliant to be fair, he's, he's still testing us, but uh, ah, it's been an absolute godsend for me and, me and my wife when we got him. Um, obviously we got him at a time when we'd planned the wedding etc, we had to delay the wedding for a year and this was kind of the uh, present for that not happening, so um, ah, it's been brilliant having him. So. My wife is pregnant at the minute, she's due her first child in, in December, so also having the dog's been a, a good teaser for that and something that we're really looking forward to, sort of the next step of, of our lives together and, and you know we can't wait for, for the wee one to come along. Obviously after you get married and stuff it's sort of something that comes naturally but um, you know it's something that we both feel that we're, that we're ready for and um, obviously the wee one here's set us up nicely for that and you know it's something we're really looking forward to. Pretty emotional the two of us when it got announced and then obviously telling the news to all our families, our mums and dads etc. It was a really emotional one, you know, my mum and dad especially, it'll be their first grandchild in the family so my mum's been kind of putting us under massive pressure for the last couple of years but no, they were absolutely buzzing when we told them and you know it's, it's something that the two of us really can't wait for. And it'll take a wee bit of getting used to obviously been set in your routine and with how the week normally goes. You know, we like to relax, footballers, but I don't think we'll have much time for that. Obviously, we'll need to split up the responsibilities with, with Hayley, but no, I'm, I'm, I'm really looking forward to, to this next chapter. Paul Blair, number 50 today for Motherwell. Both of them Motherwell? together? Both of them together. Oh, they can't Inseparable. Inseparable. Oh, people. guy. Nice to watch them. Is the goal going to come today, Paul? Aye. Three, probably. Three? Unlikely. It was obviously a big achievement getting to 50 games as early as I have. And, you know, Paul doing it as well in the same game. You know, it was a good game in the end for us to do it on. Blair, how is that for your 50th game? First half rubbish. Second half a lot better. Took the game to them and sent to end towards the end, but I feel like we got what we deserved. Start. I don't think it, it went too well. Obviously, the results were pretty up and down. But you know, since the new managers came in, I say new manager. He's been in since February. But you know, since he's came in, obviously, I've worked with him before. I know what he's like. He's really given me that responsibility in the team to, to be a real threat going forward. And you know, I, I feel as though I've done pretty well since he's came in, and uh, the team has as well, which is which is obviously a very good thing. Obviously, at the end of last season, we spoke about how the season had went, and you know what the manager expects from me going forward. Obviously, I've played a lot of games in my career up to now, and I feel as though I've experienced quite a lot in that time. So, obviously, Liam and Paul are our captain and vice captain, but obviously, it was a nice feeling when Paul went off against his Fife that. The arm band get passed on to me and it was, it was a good feeling, yeah. I wore it at Ross County on a number of occasions. Keith Watson never played, I kind of took the armband, but something I'd never experienced before that, but it's obviously a nice feeling when the manager puts that trust in you. I played for a few big clubs throughout my time, but no playing for Murrow and a few good factor that's been around the club at the minute. You know, I, I've really enjoyed my time so far and, and hopefully that can, that can keep uh, happening from now to whenever it is I leave. Now I knew I was coming to a a really good club. Obviously I knew boys that were here before, obviously Liam, who I'd known from when I was at Rangers at pro youth level, but obviously knowing him, that was a big part in me coming here, and then obviously Paul being here as well. So it was good to have the sort of friendly faces that were already here, but it's been a really enjoyable time at the club so far, and you know, you feel as though we're in a good position now to, to keep progressing. It's 
been really good. It's been a constant sort of upward trajectory. Since the managers came in, we've had good results at really difficult venues. We've made Fir Park a tough place for teams to come and play at. So, I things are really good. So obviously, we've managed to continue the form that we ended last season on into this season. And when you're winning games, the environment's always good. But, you know, we've got a, a group of guys in there that are really level-headed as well. We do see it as a real opportunity now to, to have a good to have a good season. Obviously, it was disappointing to go out the cup against St Mirren, but you know, I think our league form has, has been really good up to now and the international breaks came at a good and a bad time for us that you know we can get boys back from injury but at the same time you know you want when you're playing well you want to carry that form on. Obviously towards the end of last season when we were getting good results I think it helped that the starting lineup very rarely changed. I think there was only one or two changes here and there. So you build that continuity. So I think in our performances you've seen in bits. Obviously Hearts was probably our best one to date, but seen a real a real progression in terms of the boys the boys gelling together. It's me that takes up most of the walks to be fair, so um, obviously with yep. Haley being pregnant as well, so a big big part of responsibility, me taking him out three times a day, so and then we get a lot of help from mums and dads as well, so um hi. Probably more me than Haley, I'll say that. Cause a wee bit of controversy. Part of the conversation I had with the manager at the end of last season about getting more goals and assists. And I feel as though I've started the season alright in that sense. Obviously I'd like to have more goals. I think I should have scored at Hearts on Sunday, but I managed to put it by the post. But you know it's it's important that the team's creating chances and scoring goals and it's important that we are part of it. I think there's a big onus on, on boys from midfield to, to help chip in with that and we feel as at the start of this season we have. We've kind of got each other's trust, we know what each other's going to do in that. In games, obviously learning for such a young boy coming in, you know, he's got the full trust of everyone in the changing room and I think you can see that in his performances, you know, he's not put a foot wrong in any game yet and obviously with Slats and myself, there's a bit more onus on us going forward to, to go and help create for the strikers, create for ourselves. And it's been really good so far, really enjoyed the, the responsibility that the manager's placed on us. Obviously we've played a couple of different formations in terms of, there's been three of us in midfield and then four the last couple of weeks due to circumstances with injuries etc. But I think the boys have, have showed a real good bit of character to go and, and take the game to opponents. That was a really bad throw, I'll need to do that again. Here, bring it here. <laughs> you know, it's a camera's on him. <laughs> <laughs>